Hi all, we're looking at our sedge meadow, which our regular fo uh, followers would recognize from Jennifer's tour videos as an open sunny area with a dominated by lake sedge, which looks like a grass, but it's a sedge. And if you want, if you don't know what a sedge is, Google it. But we want to expand the sedge meadow, and so we've created light that it needs, and also transplanted some plugs in areas that are similar in soils and hydrology to where it's happy now. So I'm going to turn here slowly. You can see we go from sedge to dark shrubs, which are awesome shrubs, silky dogwoods. She's talked a lot about those and the benefits here. But we've done a little bit of thinning. It doesn't hurt the silkies. They come, they generally sprout back, and so you have more of a tiered, uh, uneven age stand of silky dogwood, which is great for a lot of reasons, but you also have, end up with light and uh, space for the lake sedge to move up slope. I'm now about 100 feet up slope from the existing sedge meadow, and you can see that I've cleared out a pretty good area. It's probably about the size of a couple pickup trucks and opened up a lot of light. About 10 years ago, we planted numerous oak trees in here, and then they became mixed in with the silky dogwoods, which grew up around them. So I've also been uh, releasing these little oak trees so they can get more light by thinning around them. And you can see that they are responding well by how many leaves are on them. Back this way, So this is what, you, would, you wouldn't call this the prettiest site in the world, but it's going to be because this is going to fairly quickly fill up with lake sedge, and we've also transplanted some uh, blue flag iris, which are native. I think that's the name, common name anyway. And we also have baroque trees that are 10 years old. I believe I might have seen an acorn on this one for the first year and for scale about maybe two, two and a half inches in diameter. So they they grow slow, but they're heavy hitters. I'm gonna slowly pan down to one of the transplant areas and point to the flag iris, blue flag, and the, the lake sedge. So I moved these a couple of weeks ago. It was still pretty wet at the time. I watered them in and we've had some rain since but not much else has happened uh, and rain wise and they are doing fine. So we shall see how this fills in. I predict it's going to fill in fairly quickly and be what we would call a river of sedges. I'm going to try to spin slowly. I also discovered some other things in here that have that have uh, come up since this light increase has happened, including obedient plant and swamp milkweed. So these guys have been these sun-loving plants have been hanging out in the shade for years and have been hanging on. So it'll be interesting to see if they in this first year when they have sun again, if they flower quickly or or what, just what they do, but it'll be interesting to see. We have become less afraid over time of thinning and sculpting. Well, I can't say we've ever been afraid of it, but just a little bit less cautious if we do it in the winter time or the seasons when there's no nest, bird nesting going on. We do little harm and we we hope to create a more varied habitat.